Hey people, welcome to the Run Testers. Kieran here, and today we're going to be looking at this. This is the On Cloud Ultra. It's a brand new ultra friendly shoe from the Swiss shoemakers. I've taken this for a 40 mile ultra. Tom is also running it, and in this video, we're going to tell you if it's any good. So let's take a look. So this Cloud Ultra on tells us it's built for high mileage and long days on the trails. So we're talking about going ultra for sure. And in that we're looking at encountering kind of mixed terrain. So you're talking about your approach miles on the road, right up to your kind of riverside gravel paths, quick bursts through forest glades, rocky routes on steeper mountain slopes as well. So everything that you might encounter on those really kind of long haul days on the trails where you're going to be across all sorts really, coming back down into valleys, into villages you know, running through everything underfoot that an ultra might throw at you over those kind of long distance miles. They've taken some cues on this from the Cloud Stratus, which you'll see there's a sort of familiar midsole acting going on here, which we'll talk about a bit later. And, you know, this is the idea that they want to evolve this into a shoe that is like the Cloud Stratus for off-road. So we're talking about the midsole then. What we've got here is the first time that Honor's used its Helium Super Foam in the midsole in an outdoor trail shoe. We've seen it in its road shoes. It's the first time they've taken it over to off-road. Now what we've got here is it incorporates a double layer of clouds in that helium foam. And the cloud tech there is supposed to, well, these layers are supposed to work in tandem with the lower layer of the clouds absorbing the initial impact. And the second layer is supposed to act as a buffer that provides extra cushioning when you strike the ground with more force. The aim here is increased impact protection, cushioning and maximum comfort over ultra distances on virtually any terrain. In the middle of that, you've also got a speed board, something that On has in most of its shoes. So the speed board in the Cloud Ultra has been modified specifically for efficiency and comfort over longer trail miles. It's wider in the shank, that's wider in the middle of the shoe than you'll find in some other On shoes. And that's there to give you protection underfoot along with added stability and efficiency. That's the aim anyway. Now On told us that while some shoes in its range are designed to give lots of ground feedback, ground contact, this shoe is actually designed to swallow everything underfoot. The idea is that you're gonna be able to run across anything that you encounter and not really notice it coming up through the foot. Flip them over and you've got something that's quite interesting. Normally you'll see the kind of clouds are very separate on the On shoes. And this is the first time that we've actually seen On produce what it's called like a connected cloud technology, which basically means that they've gotten rid of that, or the biggest part of that strip in the middle, which is a kind of stone catcher, and all these clouds are sort of formed into one more sort of uniform single piece kind of outsole. Stock you gathering stones, which is a big thing that we've kind of always had trouble with, and obviously it's gonna be something that you're gonna encounter on the trails. You've also got something that On is calling Mission Grip, that's the outsole rubber that provides the grip and traction, and you've got three strategically placed independent traction patterns. In the heel, you've got low studs, and a thicker rubber pattern for safe heel strike and long dur term durability. The shank and toe area has a more aggressive multi angled four mil lug setup. In the forefoot, there's a medium level two and a half mil lugs, and these are there allegedly to provide an aggressive kind of traction and strong push off. So for some added protection as well, the lateral side, there's a little bit of a bumper, which is kind of placed where your foot is at its widest point. So the chance that when your brain goes on longer ultras and you start to do things like bash into stuff, that's there for a little bit of added protection too. So when it comes to the uppers, the Cloud Ultra uppers feature a two layer durable and breathable sandwich mesh that's made from 100% recycled polyester. It's got a kind of wrap fit construction and also has an integrated tongue. So it's got a one piece here with this integrated tongue that kind of holds the foot down and fits almost like a sort of sock like fit. It's kind of perforated on the uppers here the top bit for breathability. You've got a bit of reinforcement around the sort of bottom half of the shoe going into the, the heel collar here. There's a sort of slight padded heel collar and uh, you've also got a little pull here, a little tag which you can use to pull on the shoes. It's very useful actually for getting these shoes on and over your foot. Another little detail here, which is an important detail to point out, is this kind of flip release system. So there is a little toggle here, which you can flip over to release and open up this section of the shoes. Now, when you're running ultra, your feet can expand. And this, the idea here is that this gives you a little bit more room when you need it so that you don't have to do things like swap your shoes deep into a run in order to get more room to breathe. We'll come on to whether or not that's a good thing later on. So those nitty gritty details. Weight, well the On Cloud Ultra is gonna come in at 295 grams or 10.4 ounces in a US men's eight and a half. 245 grams or 8.6 ounces in a US women's size seven. It has an eight mil drop and here is how much it's gonna cost you. I had these in a UK eight and a half, which is my normal size. That is the size I would run in a normal shoe. Sometimes when I do ultras, I will half size up, but I actually got these in an eight and a half true to size to see how that flip release 
would work in terms of freeing up space over the longer distance if my feet swelled. Now the one thing that I will say is that I initially found them quite hard to get my foot into because of this kind of one piece half sock construction with the integrated tongue. I've got quite a kind of high midfoot and I do find it quite hard to slip my feet into some shoes that have got that kind of built in format. I, like I can't wear sliders. I never could wear Velcro shoes as a kid. They would always come undone. So my big fat feet. So I initially found them a little bit hard to get into. And I, my instinct here is that actually that in, for that initial first kind of step in, they felt a little bit tight all around actually. Across the sort of top of the foot, I felt a little bit narrow in the, in the sort of, toe box as well length was good on an eight and a half but you know there was a little bit of sort of tight feeling around the toes and this whole thing although it sort of felt really sort of tightly locked in place which was nice it did feel like it might be a little bit too snug at eight and a half having said that I did a four miler in them first and actually after a while they loosened off a little bit and generally on the run I found them to be pretty good in terms of fit definite had really good lockdown no movement no shuffling that you might get during ultras it could become a problem sort of rubbing in blisters and all those kind of things so that was great having said that i do think that i had to flip that flip release pretty much straight away to give myself enough room to move so i think my instinct here is that i would go half a size up particularly if at any point during an ultra you're going to want to take the shoes on and off and you've got quite high feet to have you know that freedom once feet get a little bit sore slipping them on and off you want to have a bit more room i think to do that so I, my instinct here is that when it comes to fit Great lockdown, great hold, but I would still be tempted to go half a size up. The fit for me is true to size. It has quite a nice lockdown fit. It doesn't feel too tight or too narrow. It actually feels quite roomy, but while still being nice and secure. It's a very comfortable upper actually, and um, yeah, fit perfectly for me. For my run test then the first thing I did was take these out for an easy four miles just to break them in then a couple of days later I went straight out and did a 40 mile ultra in them eight hours on kind of light sort of forest trails road tarmac uh, sort of like a mixed kind of terrain run that they would be made for but nothing really very steep and very technical and that was all done at a steady kind of nine minute mile pace so I know everyone says you're not really supposed to but I, I kind of love slapping on shoes and taking them out for a big long test like that straight up because you really find out what they're <laughs> they're made of and actually when I first put these on as I said in the fit I found them a little bit sort of I thought they were going to be a bit snug and I thought that could be problematic but actually over the run I really enjoyed these shoes I, I found there was really good stability in them I found that there was there were they're sort of they're actually sort of heavier than a Hoka Torrent too, not by much but a little bit. But on the foot, I actually found them sort of slightly more compact and a little bit kind of more more nimble actually. And I really enjoyed this. There was plenty of kind of stability. There was a sort of good balance here between a kind of firmness that gave you a feeling that you were sort of having contact with the ground, but also enough protection and cushioning so you know there's a sort of decent wide base that gives you just the right amount of stability and they've just got the right amount of kind of firm and cushion that balance for me was absolutely bang on which is really important and came into its own when you do what on says it's you know supposed to be able to do which is switching between different types of terrain particularly in my run test i went between tarmac and then off-road sort of compacted sort of hard packed sort of trails and that switch up there was barely noticeable really they ran really well and consistently across that terrain in a really really pleasant way now one of the things with that if you're going to go and do ultras where you're sort of coming down from the mountains off, tra off mountain trails into the villages and towns as you sort of go into the aid stations and whatnot or down and then back up you know you don't want to hit the tarmac bits and have these shoes that are dragging on the ground and feel like they're heavy and not made for the roads and I actually found that we, these came into their own when I hit the roads. Actually, they were really nice and responsive. They gave you a nice kind of pop and they were sort of, they almost sort of gave you a little bit of a push as you were sort of running on the tarmac. And then on softer ground as well, they weren't too soft and cushioned so that that was sort of overdone. You still felt in control. Overall, that eight hours that I was in them, I didn't feel like there was a lack of cushioning and there was too much firmness. I felt my legs and my sort of muscles, my feet, the whole bit was sort of nicely protected. You know, when things get hard underfoot, they gave a good sense of response and that's kind of on the tarmac and the trails. One of the things that On sort of said when they talked to us about what the shoe was supposed to do was be able to eat any ground. And they, I think they do that, but without sort of dulling the foot's kind of senses, you still feel like you're doing the work. And I, you know, again, there's a big debate about that, whether you want to feel that. Some people might not want to feel that. I do, I, you know, I like to know that actually, I, you know, it's not, I'm not sort of anaesthetizing my feet. I need to know that I'm actually sort of out there, you know, in, in control and I can feel what's going on under my feet, particularly 
over ultra distances and particularly on the trails when you're going to be looking for you know sensing what's what's underfoot you know being able to control yourself on those rocks and those small small bumps and lumps and tree roots and all of that and that control i thought was really here without a negative impact of that coming up through the feet and up through the legs so one of the things that honors put out in this they're like the the cloud stratus for the trail i'd actually sort of equate these to me they sort of were reminiscent a little bit more of an, a cloud x which is you know something that runs quite firm and i i really like the cloud x as sort of a potential marathon ratio because it runs firm and i found it nicely versatile i thought these had a bit of that going as well the idea of this sort of flattened outsole you know particularly in the forefoot was really good it's fixed one of those problems we've always moaned about the fact that on shoes particularly on the trails pick up stones it's really annoying to have that kind of tap 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 if you pick up a stone over a long period little things on ultras like that will drive you absolutely nuts having to stop and pick out stones and this does fix that problem in the majority there is still a little bit of a deep kind of um, trench here at the back and that can grab a few but I think that kind of connected cloud tech or whatever you want to call it a more traditional outsole that has these clouds sort of built in under the outsole works well for me I thought the grip was great the traction was really good you did get kind of a nice sort of grip and uh, you know for toe off that really well worked well I didn't put them through an awful lot of really difficult you know technical steep downhill stuff that was in any way slippy or pushing that grip to the full extent though so I think you know I'd really love to see how they got on over on, on bigger sort of mountain harder mountain technical mountain trails I think that flip release that Ons put in there was a really nice idea you know people are always asking should I go half a size up or not in a pair of shoes for an ultra and this does give you a little bit of flexibility to open those up and get a bit more room in the in the shoe before you go and run like I said for me it wasn't really a big thing because I think I got these shoes in half a size too small so I had to unlock the flip release before I went but actually I could before I went I could feel that expansion in the shoe and it did work I do think there is a potentially if you've got kind of higher feet or wider feet this kind of sock like construction though it makes for super comfort when you're in the shoe and you're running I do think that taking them on and off if you want to do things like change socks change wet socks you know it could be an issue but if your toes get a little bit battered getting those feet sort of squeezed back into this integrated sort of half stock construction that happens here may be an issue but then again it's something that I've always sort of found even with sort of the, the Salomon shoes where you've got that sort of tight Salomon lacing in there you know it can be a thing if you can't widen those laces out you can actually what I did like is you can actually expand a reasonable amount here from the uppers but it's just that opening where you just want need to get enough room to get your foot down in initially once they're in I I found on the run the whole upper super comfortable there was just about enough room for me in the toe box just though I think you know arguably if you like a lot of wiggle room in the toe box you might want to either go half a size up or these might not be to your liking enough padding here on the collar without there being an overkill comfortable no rubbing you know just over those eight hours that I was in these shoes I had no real problems at all a couple of days later I did notice that I've got a little bit of a cut in the top of my foot and I think that's maybe from where this has rubbed a little bit, whether it's the shoes or just I had some of my socks gathering is, is hard to say. In the durability stakes, I've done 45 miles in them and the outsole looks kind of, it's dirty, but it's barely touched. You know, so that bodes well so far, you know, so let's see them after 200 miles. The only thing I will say, and I had a problem with this, second time I put them on, I went to pull these laces tight to get that kind of lockdown fit. And one of the pulls broke here. As you can see they sort of go through these loops and it snapped off you can i still just put it through the other eyelet there and it works fine but you know after that was second time out i'd only run four miles in them just gave them a little bit of a yank and it popped off so that is not ideal i don't like the i you know i don't like the chance of these other pulls surviving very long they don't look very securely held in place on there i haven't run as many miles in this as kieran has i've done a 12k and a half marathon trail running these and I've actually enjoyed them immensely. Uh, I think it's a really nice shoe and um, yeah, it's I, I, I really enjoyed it on both trail runs that I did. I really liked the upper design. The tongue actually is completely connected to the rest of the shoe, presumably to stop debris and dust and rocks falling in as you're running. But it gives this really nice, comfortable, kind of thick sock-like lockdown fit which just feels really nice out on the run. So it's a really comfortable shoe to wear. And um, yeah, I from the first run, I, I took them out. It just felt comfortable straight away. Although it's not necessarily a light shoe, 
it does feel fairly lightweight out on the run. It's I just feel like I could pick up the pace quite nicely in it, and yeah, it's quite conducive to those faster kilometres as you're um, as you're out there on the trails. The midsole does feel quite hard when you pick it up. I I, I did expect it to feel a lot harder than it than it does out on the run. Um, when you're actually out there and you're hitting the harder ground, it does. There is a level of softness to it, which is quite nice. And it's not massively noticeable, but over higher mileage, you do notice that it is. It's doing a nice job at um, deadening that impact. I say this in every single review I do of trail shoes. I live in England, and it gets quite muddy out on the trails, especially at the moment. The fields that I run across and the canal paths that I go down are very muddy. There's a lot of claggy clay mud out there, and this, it's not a shoe very well designed for that, but many trail shoes aren't that I test. Um, it does collect quite a lot of mud in the bottom and becomes quite heavy uh, on certain terrains, especially that claggy mud. So it's not particularly well designed for that. I think it's better suited to those sort of drier, dusty trails that you might find when you're running ultra distances in, in probably warmer countries or in, in the summer in the UK. It's actually got quite a for formidable outsole grip as well. It does a good job at gripping onto wet paths and, and rocks as you're, as you're running through the rain. And um, yeah, it was a nice surprise as, as I it's raining quite a lot at the moment in the UK. I think it's also quite a versatile shoe as well. So Kieran will probably talk about running longer distances in it. And as you guessed, from the name, it's probably designed more for those long distances, but I actually found it worked really well when I was picking up the pace on shorter distances as well. I think it's quite a nice versatile shoe to have in your collection if you're not entirely stuck on one particular distance or speed. So you've got a shoe that can cover you for lots of different use cases. One thing I really like about this shoe and big kudos to On for updating the shoe with this feature, they've started to remove that massive cleft that is in the bottom of all of On's shoes. and. On road shoes, it's it can be quite difficult because it does collect quite a lot of rocks and branches and things like that. I've I've often done a run and found I've got a whole branch sticking in the middle of my shoe. On have clearly been listening to their audience on this because when you're out on the trails, you pick up a lot more rocks and debris than you would out on the road. So this shoe is it didn't um, I mean it picked up a lot of mud when I was running out there, but it didn't pick up any gravel or stones or anything in that cleft that which would normally happen from from a lot of the on shoes that um, that I've tested. My verdict on the on cloud ultra then well i really like these shoes i had a great eight hours running in them off the bat you know fresh out the box went and did 40 miles and had no problems at all i think they they hold the foot really nicely there's just sort of a comfort and security in the shoes that worked really well i do think actually that with this helium foam here and this sort of dual kind of um, cloud construction this double layer they've got works really nicely it's just the right balance of firmness protection and cushioning, not too much, not too little. It's like a Goldilocks feeling for me it was over the run on those mixed terrains as well. When you move from the roads to the trails, it was really nicely consistent. So I'm really quite impressed with these shoes overall. You know, I was a big fan of the Hoka Torrent and ran happily ran 100K Ultras in those. And I think these would be a shoe that would easily compete in terms of a shoe that I think about whether I pick these up or the Hoka Torrent to go and do a similar sort of mixed terrain ultra like that. I think what Honor's done here is, is, is pretty, pretty impressive. And I would certainly recommend them if you're looking for a really versatile shoe that can cope with distances of any any length. You know, if it doesn't have to be ultra, I think this is a really good versatile mixed terrain shoe. So other shoes that you might consider if you're looking into the Cloud Ultra and you want some alternatives. Well, the Hoka Torrent 2 I've mentioned already, it's actually cheaper than this. It's slightly lighter than the Cloud Ultra. So that is one option. I've really enjoyed those shoes and they are they're good to run in over this kind of distance. Another shoe I think that will draw comparisons here would be the Innovate Terra Ultra G270. I've done an ultra test of that around here as well. I did 45 miles out of the box with those ones. Now they have come in with a zero drop. So the eight mil drop here is a little bit more forgiving in the on cloud ultra, I think, than particularly if you're not used to running a zero drop shoe. But the, the 270s are also a really, really good shoe. And something I think actually is maybe that you consider if you were looking for something that's a little bit more kind of race ready, a little bit more kind of... Um, extreme you know i think there's there's also sort of durability and a build quality that comes with the innovate g270 that's pretty much unrivaled those are and out and also some traction and grip that comes with those shoes that are graphene coated that probably isn't matched with these though as i've said i would love to take these out stick it into this into the dolomite source you know some of the mountain trails and see how they get on for a fairer comparison the g270 is also a little bit cheaper too 
Other shoes that you might consider looking up when you're thinking about these are also the Salomon S-Lab Ultra 2 and also maybe like a Hoka Speed Goat 4 fall into this bracket too. So they are also worth a look. So there you have it people, that's been our review of the On Cloud Ultra. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to ask us any in the comments if you have any questions, you wanna know something that we've missed about the shoe. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. So you'll come back and you see more shoe reviews on the channel when they land. It's been a pleasure to sort of talk you through this shoe. And we will see you again on the Run Testers very soon. Thanks a lot for watching. I may not have used it for testing to ultra level, but I really...